starting off as a first year. Mommy, Never really I posted it. That's okay. Really? That's okay. That's okay. Bye-bye. We want to go bye-bye and get french fries? Yeah. Did you see the McDonald's app on your sister's phone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's show that again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, um, but I was really excited today to come on and do a back to school teacher haul. This is just stuff that's from my classroom. I'm not going to be showing any clothing items that I'm buying or anything like that. No. Hi, my name is Delise. I am now a second year kindergarten teacher. I did film a lot of my journey last year. I never posted it, but I have thought about doing like a looking back video and just kind of posting it so you guys can see where my classroom started, where it is now, which is bare because at the end of the year last year, I took everything down because I just kind of want to start fresh this year. And then the journey of putting it back together. I have started um, within like, the past week just gathering some things for my classroom that I didn't have last year that I knew I wanted this year last year when I went into school I didn't purchase a lot because I went into a classroom that had a lot of stuff in it um, the teacher that left it left behind a lot of resources and also I I don't like spending money so I'm one to just see what I need I did find I did buy like a few like little decorative things like I probably spent at the most like 40 bucks on my classroom last year um, that's not including like borders for bulletin boards but and that, if I include that it's still no more than like 50 60 dollars I didn't spend a lot of my classroom last year um, I took things I already had I took things that were already in the room and just repurposed them I mean and I'm still gonna be using a lot of those things that I repurposed and I'm just adding a few things that I know that I could use this year. So I guess I'm gonna start with Ross because that's gonna be the smallest haul I have. I bought two things at Ross. This is the big thing I bought from Ross. And this is going to be my treasure chest for my classroom. This was um, $8.99, however it is damaged right here. So they gave me a 10% off, which came out to like 90 cents. But um, I thought it's cute because it actually looks like a treasure chest. It's pretty big. It's actually full on the inside. It has some of the stuff I'm going to haul for you inside. But uh, I mean, it holds a lot. <laughs> um, so I bought this. I actually went to Ross to get the kids' shoes and saw this. And I didn't pick it up that day. But then I just couldn't get it off my mind. So I decided to go back and get it. And the other thing I bought at Ross, not really classroom related, just something for me. Last year I had bought the plum, plum paper planner, teacher planner, um, and sadly I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. A lot of the stuff that we do is just on Google Docs and electronically, so I didn't really need to be writing out my lessons. So this for this year I just bought this planner, just a personal planner um, for me, just to kind of like jot down important events. Lessons are still on Google Drive and I do print them out and keep them in a binder in my classroom in case anybody comes in to like observe or anything or in case I need to reference them but I usually I read them you know in the morning before the kids come in so I know what I'll be teaching that day or the night before or whenever I've prepped so I'm usually pretty prepared and I don't need them written out but um, I do keep them in a binder in my room. So I bought this. Um, it has like this clear overlay it says for I know the plans I have for you um, it says 2020 it's this really pretty floral print and it's just a horizontal planner I used to be real big into the planners um, but to be honest I don't have time for that anymore so I thought this was super cute it has this little pom-pom on it. it has a strap to keep it closed um, and it was $3.99 so I picked that up at Ross those are the only two things I bought at Ross so then I went to Michael's um, and I really literally bought two things at Michael's as well. I bought this little pillow and it's a globe. It's like, not, I guess it's a pillow. It says it's a pillow. It's like a globe, it's soft. Um, it was $7 and the reason that I bought this is because we do teach maps and globes in kindergarten and I don't actually have a globe in my room, which sucks. But last year I borrowed one of my teammates globes. Um, this year I am 
gonna use this. I have like ideas of games I could play with this. Not only in social studies, so I picked this up. I thought it was cute. And I also got this storage container, which is pretty popular in the teacher community. It's a large photo and craft keeper. And I believe this is originally like 40, 30, 40 bucks. I'm not really sure, but I paid $8 for it. And I've already, you can kind of see in there, I've already started putting centers in it. I'm going to use it to keep like my smaller centers, like the cards and stuff, um, because I was using Ziploc bags and that just did not work for me last year. So I'm gonna do that. I might need another one, but for now I just picked up one because like I said, I really do not like to spend money unless I know it's necessary. So I've got that. And I did bring my centers home for the summer, so that's why I've started to organize it. And next I'll go into Dollar Tree because I'll leave Target for last. So I'm pretty sure I got the most at Target. So Dollar Tree, um, the first thing I did Okay, so I'm really lucky, and they opened two dollar, two brand new Dollar Trees in my area. One is literally down the street, like four minutes away. The other one's about 15 minutes away, but it's in the shopping center I usually go to. So we were able to go to both. Um, and I bought these, like, the end of last school year. I didn't buy them. I just... I bought all the ones they had when they opened the Dollar Tree. Um, so I got 20 book bins. Originally, I had six of them that were pink and I was like well I'll just spray paint them or something to match however I went yesterday because I realized they had restocked the book bins and I got them in all blue so these are just the Dollar Tree book bins and um I am going to use them to hold books but my main want for these is to hold the kids personal things like because I have tables in my classroom not not desks and I do keep table caddies in the middle of my tables but I don't know if all kindergarten teachers have this problem or if it was just my class last year but my kids were constantly playing with the table caddies fighting over the table caddies and it was just it just became too much and then I also just kept the journals in like a central area and I'd have to go they'd have to go and like look through all the journals to get their journals so I want them to be able to keep their journal their little crayon container um, whatever book they're reading, everything inside their own personal book bin. So what I'm gonna do is take this label off and I'm gonna number these so I can use them year after year, not put the kids' names on them, but they're numbers. So they do use a number system in my classroom and that way I can reuse them. And I don't, I should say, I don't really have a theme in my classroom. It's really just black, white, gray, and colorful. So I just use what I have and make it work. Um, also at the Dollar Tree, I found this bulletin board paper and it is like a wood grain and of course a dollar. Um, it's not like as nice as something you could buy at the teacher store or Hobby Lobby or anything like that, but it's going to work. I have, um, two bulletin boards that I plan to use this for. They're smaller ones inside my classroom that I use for data tracking. And I just think it's gonna be really cute with that wood background because otherwise I would use probably black or white. Also at the Dollar Tree, I picked up some things to fill my um, treasure chest with. So I got two packs of these um, modeling doughs. It brings eight little containers in it. And um, they, I bought two of them to just, you know, open them up and put them into my treasure chest. I also got some of these little um, hop frogs, hop you, like you know you like flick the back and they hop. Um, and this brings 24 in there. I got some of these little ponies, they're actually unicorns in there, I thought the girls would like those. And there's I think 20 in there? 20, yeah. And then I got this pack of army men, which was 50 in here. This was actually the first thing I saw that was like, I need to get stuff for my treasure chest here. The Dollar Tree. So, got these army men. Got some whistles. Um, these are like little lip whistle kazoo things. Some yo-yos. This brings eight. I don't know. I don't, I'm not saying how many. This brings six. Uh, these bring six whistles as well. And then this brings eight of those little like spinny top 
things. So that's all the stuff I got for to fill to start filling up my treasure chest. I plan to get like I'm gonna go to Walmart because I know in their party section they have some good deals, and also Target um, and get like bubbles and things like that. And the last thing, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, the last thing I got at the Dollar Tree is this cute little bulletin board border. I bought two of them. I don't think I'll need to. Um, but it has little cactuses on it. I don't know. Can you guys see that? And I just thought it was cute for a dollar. And um, this is actually going to be um, my wow work wall this year. I'm going to make it, it's going to say hashtag on point. And I'm going to hang their work. So I'm going to have like a little cactus theme. And it will have the wood background. So I thought that would look cute. So that's everything from the Dollar Tree. And now we'll move on to Target. I did buy the most at Target. Um, they just had a lot of things that I felt I needed. Some things I just wanted. Um, just, you know, for cute. Oh, no, wait, I got one more Dollar Tree thing. I bought these to go with that cactus bulletin board too. I thought they were cute. So, um, I still haven't gone to Walmart. Um, I am going to get a few things for my treasure chest there, but I did hit up Target Dollar Spot. I think everything I got was from the Dollar Spot. Yeah. Um, they did have a section of their Dollar Spot that was 50% off, and I went to two different Targets. My Target didn't have much. Um, I think because it's really the only Target like in the immediate area, so a lot of teachers go there. Um, but I went to another Target that uh, that is up by the baseball camp, and they had a huge section of the 50% off. There just wasn't much that I needed or wanted, so I didn't pick up too much there. But um, they did have all the teacher stuff in the um, dollar section. So, and they were still putting out more stuff. And I am still on the hunt for one thing, and that's the um, little block alphabet stamps. I really want like four or five sets of those, but couldn't find even one. Um, so the first thing I got is this like window gel cling and it says be awesome today. I have them for like the holidays. Like I have Easter, Halloween, Valentine's Day. I think I have a Christmas one. I have cat in the hat ones, but I figured for like the beginning of the school year, I could put this one up and I thought it was cute for my window on my door. And then these were like something I really wanted to get, but I was sure, I had already told myself I would not find them because they are such a huge hit. But I got these um, adhesive pockets, the ones that fit the nameplate, and these are $3. And um, so I last year printed out my own nameplates, you know, wrote their names on them, laminated them, and then used like the thick packing tape and stuck them to the table. Well, the biggest problem for me was when I switched seats, and I do switch seats quite often because um, I, I don't know if it's just a kindergarten thing, but the kids just start to get in. They get too comfortable with each other, if that makes sense, and it just starts to be a lot of little bickering, so I like to just switch it up. So from ripping them up and putting them down. By the end of the year, I got so tired of doing that. I ended off sticking them to the backs of their chairs and like, all right, you're switching seats, move your chair. <laughs> but I do want them to be on the table, not on the chair, just in case we have like a sub come in or an administration. I'm sorry, my husband called. I have no idea where I was. But basically to get to the point, I do want the name tags to be on the tables so that when people come in, they can recognize the students. So I bought two packs of the adhesive pockets that fit the nameplates and these were three dollars each and i did um i'm sorry i did print my own nameplates and all of that last year um but this year i had seen in somebody's haul and i don't know who that they had these at target almost completely almost exactly what i had printed last year except last year i had a number line on it but that's okay. I will print them like little number lines that I can add underneath. But I thought these were adorable for a dollar. Saves me ink, printing time, laminating time, all of that. Um, because I'm just gonna stick it inside the adhesive pocket. So I got two packs of these. It brings 30 for a dollar, which is more than enough for the year. But I thought 
I'll get another pack for next year. Also got two packs of these back to school band-aids for a dollar each to go in my teacher toolbox, which should be here today or tomorrow. I didn't have one last year, but I ordered one this year. I started off with a desk last year, ended off getting rid of it. So now I need a teacher toolbox. <laughs> so I got two packs of the band-aids and it brings 20 in each. And this is just to avoid the kids constantly going to the nurse because they need a band-aid. You need a band-aid? I got you. Um, I also got these cute little thank you cards. They just say thank you on the front with the apple and grid paper. And then these are the envelopes. They were a dollar. Um, I didn't have thank you cards last year, so I was like constantly like finding like nice paper and writing stuff out. So this would be better. I got this, which I'm super excited about, and you can't really see. I'll show you that. But it's a scratch off calendar for the 100th day of school. And what I did last year was I just had like a hundreds chart, put it up on the board and every day I'd have a student color in the number of days we had been in school to keep track until we got to 100. But I thought this will be fun because it's like the black, you know, the black covering and then they scratch it off to reveal the day. And it also has a spot to do like mini goals. So I thought that would be cute to reinforce our procedures. Okay, I also got, I got this, um, this was a dollar, it's like a cardboard. It says write, and it has like paper lines on it. Um, and I'm going to put this over my writing center this year. I thought that was cute for a dollar. And I got this one for a dollar as well, it says create, and I'm gonna put that in my creator station. And I got, I got this apple sign and it's just the plain one. They had ones that had sayings on them. This is $3, but I have a silhouette. So I'm gonna cut out some vinyl that says like, you know, Mrs. Crespo room 213 or something like that and hang this on my door. And then, okay, so you're gonna be surprised, but the biggest thing that I was just hoping to find the dollar spot besides those adhesive pouches was this magnetic little thing because they're only three dollars at the target dollar spot and the dollar tree does have some but they're much smaller and i wanted this big one um to keep some expo markers on my desk i have like one of those rolling carts from ikea um that i had in the house i used to use that in the house for the baby stuff that i took to school with me um and I was keeping all my Expo markers in there, but I would move it around the classroom with me and then when I'd go up to the board, I didn't have it. So I wanna keep a few in this. And also like my calendar numbers, my days of the week, things like that. And this was $3. And then, okay. So I have a bench that we actually got for Junior, my middle son's uh, nursery. So he's 10, so about 10 years ago. It has the ABCs on the back. It was black when it was in his nursery. It's now white and believe it or not, it's out on our porch. We don't even use it. And I never thought about it last year, but this year, um, actually like towards the end of last year, when we were like cleaning up the front porch and all that, I was like, I could so use this in my classroom. So we power washed it. We're gonna give it a nice new spray paint job and I'm gonna bring it to my classroom. So I have a huge pencil pillow from Ikea in my classroom, but I wanted to get a few more pillows to add that to my library. So I got this one, I love this one. It has the alphabet in all the different colors and then it has H-I with white glitter. So it says hi. And this was $5. And then I picked up the Apple one just cause it's cute. Also $5, not sure if I'll keep the Apple one. Like I said, if I don't, whatever I don't use, um, when I'm setting up, I'll probably return it. This will probably be one of the things. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit with the pencil and this one in my library. I also have Ottomans in my library. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so those were all the regular price things that I got from the Dollar Tree. From the 50% section, um, I got a few things. So for my Meet the Teacher Day, I'm gonna do lemonade. Last year I did like glow sticks um, and like, you know, it's gonna be a bright year and like, do it like that. This year I've decided that I'm gonna bring my big drink dispensers that I use for birthday parties and stuff like that and I'm gonna make lemonade and have like cups and stuff. So they had these like little lemon napkins. 
so I bought three packs of 10, so that's 30 napkins. Um, and I'll have just regular napkins there too. These are more just decorative. Oh, I bought four packs, 40 napkins um, to put out. And I'll get like, I'll buy a box of a pack of like cookies and I'll make some lemonade. So they'll have like lemonade and cookies. So I thought that was cute. And then to go with that, I got these. I'm planning to put these at all the different stations to like mark the stations. Not really sure exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I just thought they were cute. This was a dollar, so I got it for 50 cents. And each of the packs of napkins I also got for 50 cents. And then I got this little banner. It's like yellow. Yellow is my favorite color, by the way. <laughs> it has like yellow. And this was also a dollar originally, so I paid 50 cents for it. Thought that would be cute to kind of add to that table. And then this, I just want to put up in my classroom because it says best day ever. So I think I'm going to put it up for the first day of school. All right. And I think I'm on to like the last four things I purchased. So I got these at the Target Dollar Spot as well. Um, these were 50% off. They are originally $3. So I got just a checkers for them to play like during free time centers. And I try to do free time centers every day, even if we go out for recess, just because um, I feel like that social aspect in the classroom is really important. So we'll break sometimes, for, even if it's 10 minutes, the kids have so much fun. So I got felt checkerboard just because it was only $1.50. And then these I'm excited about because I have a shelf in my classroom that last year I did not utilize 100%. And then I didn't realize it really till the end of the year until we moved it. I was like, oh my goodness, I could have been using this this whole time. But it has a felt back on the back of it. So kids can use like felt, you know, felt sticks to felt. So I got these little felt, they're called busy bag play sets for the kids to have for free time centers or even like when they come in for soft starts in the morning. Um, they were originally $3, I paid $1.50. This one's like racetracks, it has like flames and cars and things like that. This one is trains and train tracks. There's like buildings and people in there. And I like the little pouches they come into because that's how I'll store them. And this is like a girl one. Um, has like flamingos and bushes and little kitty cats and then I think it's like a tea set let me see traveling tea company it says it has like there's s'mores and it has like a tea party scene so they can just you know imagination goes a long way it's got a lot of pieces in here. I think it says, yep, 21 felt pieces in each of these. So that's the little, you know, like a girlier set. Not that girls can't play with the other ones because they totally can. So, got that. And that's everything. That's everything I've gotten from my classroom. Um, that doesn't include like this stuff, like supply, um, but my school gives me a stipend from that and we have to order from like specific places. Um, the main thing that I'll be the main thing I'll be purchasing this year is anchor chart paper because I ran out last year. I thought I bought so much, and I definitely did not have enough. So um, that's the main thing I'll be getting. I have like all the other things, and you know, kids bring their supplies. So I'm really that's like my big thing. I've got to make sure I get enough anchor chart papers because I'm constantly making anchor charts. So with that said, that's everything. Um, Again, I'm hoping to get back into this YouTube thing. Um, my channel started off as just a mom lifestyle channel because I was a stay-at-home mom. And then I finished school and went back to work and did all of that stuff. So it will still be like a mom lifestyle. It will, it will still be like a mom lifestyle channel because I'm a mom and that's like a humongous part of my life. Um, these kids keep me on my toes and busy all day long um, But I also want to start adding in some teaching stuff to this So um, I definitely want to do my classroom setup I definitely want to show some clips of where my classroom started off as last year whatever I can find on my camera Really guys and This is gonna take me forever to edit because these kids will not stay out of the frame 
But anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're a teacher, don't walk run to the target dollar spot because they are clearing it out quickly and if you find the alphabet stamps they're like clear square alphabet stamps please let me know i will pay for shipping and everything i really just want those i want like four or five sets of them because i want to use them in small group so with that said i will talk to you guys I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye guys. Please. Bye, Daddy. Mommy. Daddy, mommy.